Hi guys, I'm, uh, we are in Windsor Park here and uh, the summer is just starting so I wanted to review these two sunglasses. It's the Serendipity Brera, uh, large, this is the large version and I got the Smith Outlier XL uh, is the second iteration of the Outlier uh, right here. So I just wanted to show you how these two uh, sunglasses fit uh, on my face, maybe on your face they feel different. Uh, also, the other thing is that both of these sunglasses, they offer brown lenses. Serengeti are famous now for their driver lenses, which many people uh, have been using for, for, for the past few decades. And um, yeah, let's, let's start with the, with the Serengeti first. These are the Breras. The Brera uh, take their name from, a, I believe it's a neighborhood in Milan. Um, uh, famous for their cafes and stuff so it's more like a kind of city kind of sunglasses they have a sharp uh, frame um, a masculine frame and they look really nice and classy um, the only downsides of these sunglasses is that the uh, Serengeti don't offer a gradient lenses uh, with with the Brera's which is a shame because they will look amazing with with the uh, gradient lenses uh, these are the version with the brown lenses as I say uh, both of these sunglasses offer brown lenses So I'll try to compare the brown lenses as well because many people are fans of the brown lenses um, uh, the, uh, Both sunglasses offer UV, UV protection um, polarization uh, and Yeah, UV protection and brown color colored color tint um, so the the out the difference in the lenses is that the Smiths offer chroma pop, which is branded here on the on the lens, whereas the Serengeti they have photochromic built in the lenses. I mean, all the lenses from from Serengeti offer a photochromic feature, which is a feature that darkens the lens in bright sunlight. For example, if you're like in a winter, uh, if you wear them in the winter. Uh, or in very bright sunlight in the for example in the summer the, the lenses will become completely black So it will they will block more light coming in uh, through the lens in your eyes uh, whereas um, The Smiths they don't have this feature. So you're stuck with the the, the amount of uh, darkness the lens can uh, can uh, the amount of light that the, the lenses can uh, can allow to pass through which is set by the manufacturer uh, chroma pop on the outlier means that they, they have like an increase in contrast and i tested these and they do have like an increase in contrast um, i find that the outlier they um, they are more contrasty in a, but if you if you look through the lenses it, the color color seems to be a bit unreal whereas the Serengeti is the the colors are more true to life and uh, uh, with an increase in contrast where uh, the the um, Smith's outlier the uh, the colors are much more vivid and unreal I mean they really pop they really pop and I would say there is it's a there is a tint on the lenses a, a tint of, uh, of gray uh, green there's a tint of green and the greens really pop out and some magenta as well in some situation but overall there's there's a constant uh, uh, tint of green whereas the Serengeti are more much more balanced and um, they offer contrast on all the colors and they enhance all the colors so from that point of view I, I do prefer the Serengeti especially for the styles as well because uh, the outlier are a bit more chunky as you can see the frames are a bit more thicker uh, the plus side for for the um, outliers that they have Megal uh, temples which are here you can see and here on the sides you can see they're rubberized so probably they they will stay more fit and they wouldn't they won't leave any marks on your on your nose because the the um, the Breras are a bit front heavy and uh, they leave marks especially of the prolonged use uh other than that uh what can i say um that's it pretty much uh, they're both great sunglasses i find that serengetis are a bit the quality um quality is a bit more they feel a bit more sturdy and a, a bit more compact um, the the arms open really nice and snap they snap into place whereas um the smiths they do open but there's a bit of 
play, just a tiny bit of play in the, in the in the arm, but it's, it's not much. I mean, yeah, I, I would say probably uh, the Smiths are a bit more um, more casual to wear, and probably you could wear them in a sports fashion kind of way. I mean, I wouldn't recommend these for exercise or anything, but because they have these rubberized sides and um, mangle uh, uh, things here, uh, probably they will, they will stay fit a bit better than the Serengeti, where, where Serengeti are a bit more casual and classy kind of, uh, kind of sunglasses you will wear if you go like for a cafe, visiting, visiting a city or something, that you will look to wear these sunglasses probably to, I don't know, to, to look stylish. They're, they're very stylish. And also the quality of the lens is, in, is very good. So that was it from me. Um, I think there's, I didn't miss anything. I think that was all. And thank you very much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're gonna make the right decision. Both of them are incredible sunglasses. Um, as I said, um, the pluses and the minuses, you get much more contrast with the Smiths, uh, but the colors are not very natural. Whereas with the Serengetis, you got uh, enhanced colors and contrast, and um, also they keep the natural colors. Where with these, it's almost a bit more unreal colors. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Take care.